Welcome to Non-Mendelian's Genetics Mini Lecture. This lecture assumes that you are already familiar with genetics, Mendelian genetics, and the academic vocabulary associated with both. If not, review your notes and or watch previous lectures before proceeding. Remember, Mendelian genetics includes three possible genotypes and two possible phenotypes. As long as one dominant allele is present in a genotype, the dominant trait will be expressed. The recessive trait is only expressed when there is a homozygous recessive genotype. But what happens when alleles are neither dominant or recessive, or when traits are controlled by multiple alleles or genes? Today's mini lecture will explain two types of non-Mendelian genetics, incomplete dominance and codominance. First up, incomplete dominance. Notice that unlike Mendelian complete dominance examples, the genotypes are represented by two different letters, and both are capital letters. In this example, capital R represents a pure red, and capital W represents pure white. Both represent alleles of the gene for petal color. When the plant is homozygous for either color, it is expressed as pure red or pure white. However, the heterozygous genotype, represented by a capital R and a capital W, is expressed as a pink flower. So what does this mean? Both the red and the white are expressed, but neither is fully expressed or neither is completely dominated, dominant over the other. This can vary over generations. Some offspring might be a very bright color of pink, and some might be a lighter or a darker shade of pink. So please don't think that it's like a 50-50 blend. It's not a can of paint. You may hear mixing or blending, and those are not the best or the most accurate terms for what's happening here. And it also leads to misconceptions. It's much better to say that neither allele is fully expressed. Next up, co-dominance. Think of co-captains or cooperation. So co-dominance, notice again, unlike Mendelian complete dominance, we have two different capital letters representing a single trait. In this case, we're talking about feather color. So when we have homozygous genotypes, lead to either a completely pure black feathered or a completely pure white feathered chicken. But when we have the heterozygous genotype, a capital B and a capital W, we get a speckled chicken, which is called an ermanet chicken. These chickens have both types of feathers. So some of the feathers are completely black and some of the feathers are completely white and it looks kind of checkered or speckled. Both alleles have been fully expressed. Watch this really excellent review on YouTube called Co-Dominance and Incomplete Dominance Non-Mendelian Genetics. You will see this same diagram. Come back and then we'll practice. Take a look at this cheat sheet, this cheat sheet. What do you see? It goes over Mendelian genetics, complete dominance, incomplete dominance, and co-dominance. Pay attention to the choices that you will have for a phenotype, what the letters are going to look like, and if the letters are going to be the same. Let's do a quick review. Pause and then listen for the answer. So in this example, is this complete, incomplete, or co-dominance? This is an example of co-dominance. As you can see, the heterozygous genotype leads to a completely red and white cow. So the hairs of the cow have some hairs that are completely red and some other hairs that are completely white. Which is it, complete, incomplete, or co-dominance? This is an example of incomplete dominance. How do we know? We have three petal colors and we have one petal color that is in between the two pure colors. Last one, which is it? Complete, incomplete, or co-dominance? 
clearly this is an example of complete dominance. This is a classic example of Mendelian genetics where you have two phenotypes and three possible genotypes, although we only have two genotypes in this particular cross. And that's it. Thanks for coming.